year eight, welcome back to what is week seven, week eight of cutting out, drawing your letter on the cereal box and beginning to cut out. If you remember the last day and or the last time I did the H, okay, and the B, I have tried to demonstrate doing letters that are made up of all straight edges and I have also tried to do letters which are made up of both straight edges and some curves, okay. All the little gaps will fill in at another stage, all right, but in the meantime, the most difficult letter is quite possibly the letter S. And quite often this is actually one of the most um, popular letters as well. But we need to really think about it before we actually cut it out. All right. So here I have got the letter S drawn on my cereal box. And I'll double check that it is matching at the back. So that um, when I cut it out it isn't going the opposite direction. Okay. So you need to make sure and just double check that before you cut okay now again as i said in the other two videos the important thing is here is to keep as much of the box as you possibly can so basically where the letter touches off the edges i will then save that part of the box so you can see there the line here and here and that represents where the letter touches off the edge likewise here touches off the edge here and down here Okay, and that means then that we can save this part of the box and so on and so forth. You can see it down here and we will save this part. Now again, like all of them, you can save as much of the, you need to save as much of the box as you possibly can. There's really, I don't think of any letter where you would cut any of the box away and discard it into the bin. There's always bits and pieces can be used in some form or fashion and still be attached to the letter. You just need to think carefully about how you're gonna cut it. So we're gonna do the easy bits here, which are the curves, okay? And it's just like the way we were doing the B. Now you may not have watched the B, but it's very worthwhile. Um, in fact, if you cut, I've cut that wee bit by mistake, but I've just thought to myself, I could keep that. Okay, and if you get a wee area where you think, oh, I've cut that by mistake. If I was to keep that, but I was to, cut little what I call little darts that's because I did my degree in fashion design okay and I seem to talk in darts if I cut those little darts there all right and then we'll do the same at this side you can see hopefully you can see okay so if you could see what I was doing there I have cut those into little little darts can you see them they're like little lines all right so it's sort of like a little fan you can maybe see it better that angle very difficult to do this let me see, you can see there all these wee bits with the wee lines, okay. And you'll see the beauty of that in a wee moment. So let's do the same at this side, cutting it. And for the benefit of this, let's see if I can do it up high for the benefit of the video. So I'm cutting it just so that it means that these little pieces here, and if you cut them just quite close, um, when they're at the letter, means that they can bend in. Okay, sorry if you can't see. This is my brain. We have to do these little demonstrations and I hope they'll work. Hopefully you can get enough. I'm folding those in. Okay, you maybe see it better from that angle. Okay, so those will fold in. And that means that that can rest, that can fold back on top. Okay, so this is where I had said, I described to you when I was doing the B. If you cut your mask and tape nice and slim, it will mean then that you can then attach all those little curves in a much neater fashion. Okay, so cut your mask and tape in half. Okay. And it just means that you can get that edge very nicely finished. Okay, we'll do the same at the other side. So it means that these wee flappy bits here, it means that these can go to the underside so that that can fold over on top. So let's go through that again. Let's cut. I don't know if I need bits actually that are quite just so long. Maybe make this go a wee bit further. Keeping it nice and close. Keeping the wee edges all close to the edge of the, the letter. We'll cut that one in half. Okay. All 
right? And I can do that then the whole way around. So for anybody who didn't see, let's just take a wee note because this is doing the same again. Cutting my little darts, just cutting them right up to that line. Okay, same at the other side. If you cut them close by in at this end and the letter end, that means that they'll fold in without any little pokes and little bits sticking up. Okay, so we're going to fold them in. All right, fold them in at this end. You can see them there. I guess they're all folded in and they allow that little part, that spine of the box there, okay, to actually rest on it. Okay, it gives you something so that otherwise it would fall down through into the box. Hopefully it makes, it's making sense. It's a whole lot different style of teaching this to what we're used to. Because normally you're standing on my little desk and you can see all of this. Okay, so we're pressing that in. Right, this side. wee bits allow that little flap on the side to just not drop in there any further and then we can close that literally at the top and tidy that wee bit up and that wee, that wee flap just wants to just fight against me here that's okay not everything goes according to plan all right we close that wee bit all those wee bits should be closed over these wee bits here should all be tightened up takes a wee bit of time so I do apologize if this is quite lengthy you can actually speed up the video I think you can control that from your end you can speed up the video that wee bit and have the sort of the playback just that wee bit quicker so you can kind of see sort of the curved top here and the curved edge there all right so we're going to do that I'm going to try and do that a wee bit quicker here without demonstrating just so slowly Only cut to the letter. Okay, there's one there. It was quite, it's quite a big space there. If you make that wee space narrow, those fold in much nicer. Okay. And here. All right. Okay. The same the other side and no part of the box at any stage really needs to be cut away you can always make use of all of it this is what this lesson is all about this lesson is all about problem solving I want you to think before you cut and to think how can I actually possibly save all these parts of the box to make it extra secure all those wee bits in. Sorry if this has taken very long but it's the best I can do given the circumstances. Okay so we're going to fold these bits in. All right and there's for anybody who's wanting to do maybe a queue or something there's the corners of both both the bottom and the top and you can do them you might have those actually accentuated that wee bit more um, but it's still essentially the same sort of concept. Okay so we're going to Take those wee bits of masking tape, we're going to maybe use shorter ones, and we're going to stick them. There's the school bell. See, we're all here, we're not at home. We're all here, doing our wee demonstrations. Well, I'm certainly doing my demonstrations, everybody's using their different own different strategies. Okay, we're cutting that in half. might need to get somebody actually at home to give you a wee hand of that and I can cut and provide you with tape while you're doing it. Okay, flick it over. Really actually doesn't have to be that long because you're going to paper mache over this. As I said in the last video, you're going to paper mache over it and therefore that will strengthen it. 
So as I showed you, you're going to put paper mache. Here's the L. One coat of paper mache as wallpaper paste and um, kitchen roll. All right. Or you can use newsprint if you have an old newsprint, a newspaper at home. Turn it into little strips and it makes it extra strong. I know we use flaps or everything at all. Um, sticking out. So that will be the next move. Ten minutes here. I don't like to keep you too long. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, those wee bits, and um, another bit. Nice finish. Now, now we're going to do the tricky part of the S. There will be little gaps in it, but in the next video I'm going to show you how to fill in those wee gaps. And I think I should be able to keep that just so much more quicker. Just this one here. Doing an S is always tricky. Cover over those wee lines so they're not kind of fighting with you. Wanting to pop up. Be wee rascals. If those are going to go down and they're going to be a wee bit crooked, just give them a wee cut and a wee dart in them, and that helps those to go down nice and flush. So a little cut up in your mask to keep it sticking out, and it allows it to sit in so much tidier. Okay. So let's do these parts, the negative parts of the S. Now, really, we want to use the spine, and we want the spine to either go in around the curve, or you want it to flip in underneath this part. So it's really up to you at this point to decide what way you want it to go. I think we'll use it for the curve because, to be quite honest, to do this sharp edge here will be easy enough with spare clay, with spare card. Okay, so I'm going to stick the point of my scissors in there, and I'm going to keep that. But I'm going to cut those into little darts as well. Okay. I'm going to go up around this way. And these wee darts will be handy because when I go to cut out extra card, this will... So if I cut that at little angles, they will act as little supports. Those wee darts will act as supports. Okay. So that when I do go to stick on my extra card, okay, so if you can see, I am cutting right close to the letter. Okay, the scissors don't want to go in. I hope you can all see. Okay, and then we're going to fold those all in, and that will follow the, the shape of the S. Okay. And that just means that wee area there, those wee bits there, if you can see them, they look like little fingers sitting up, those are actually going to rest there. That means that they can, um, they'll can, they act as a little um, platform for my new piece of card to go onto. Okay. Meanwhile, this, um, I might actually use this and fold it in this way, to be honest. Um, so what I need to do is I need to take that measurement there, because that's how long I need the card to be. And if I use my, just using my scissors, I'm going to cut it straight across. Okay. And I am going to, I'm going to then uh, cut those into little darts. Okay. All right. So that's going to actually fold in there. You can see, okay, so that's actually quite neat because that folds in and that closes the base of the S. We've got these little darts here, they like that. It's quite strong for our oh, there's the school bell again. How did that happen so quick? Okay, we're going to then cut across. Remember, think twice and cut once. This is the most tricky letter that you will do. Okay, and we're going to cut up around, and I don't believe we could save our darts for this, or save our little bits of card for all of it. Maybe you could have, you might have a better way. Okay, and we're going to go in there. These wee bits here actually fold in. Alright, 
and that one folds up. Okay, so that means that we've got all those little bits in here now. It's all getting a wee bit like spaghetti junction here, so I'm gonna have to try and do a wee bit of sticking so get some bits out of the way. Okay, so we're nearly there, we're 15 minutes in. Okay, obviously if I had you here as a wee demonstration, I couldn't I wouldn't keep you just as long as that. Okay, but we're gonna stick all these little bits and pieces just down here at the moment. Okay. And just for now, we'll just stick them down. Okay, just to get them out of the way. Alright. start to see that S there taking shape okay and then that's whenever you would do that in round there as well I'm conscious just because we're on 16 minutes here for our video and really this wee bit here is just exactly the same okay and you can fill in those bits I will show you in the next video how to fill in all these little gaps in here all right and how to actually then cover that um, little platform with some extra card Okay, so for us, for now, guys, that is your S. So think carefully, think twice before you cut. Okay, and hopefully that should work for you. Okay, get a wee, get a, somebody at home, a big brother or sister or somebody to give you a wee hand. All right. Thank you. See you in the next video.